Morning round six o'clock. Hop up in the whip and hit the bank shop. Gotta make it quick, no time to waste. But I gotta stock up on where I'm cooked and wait. Pull up to the lake trying to find a spot. Fish brain said they bite and buy the duck. If you ever been fishing, then you know the deal. Sit back, relax, cause man, it gets real. Welcome back to another episode of It Gets Real. It's your boy B, the Flossy Fisherman. And today, we are back in Monterey, California. We're out to sea, you know, about to hop on the Aaron Ann 2, go on this charter, see what it do. So y'all stay tuned and uh, see if we can't hook up on something. All right, head on down, gentlemen, to the Aaron Ann 2. Look at this bad boy here. Oh yeah, we're doing big things today, ladies and gentlemen. And here you have it, the Aaron Ann 2. This is a bad mama jamma here, right here. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Got Captain Chris right yeah. here. Out to sea, Captain. That's it. This is the Aaron Ann 2. Welcome aboard. It gets real. Yeah. Let's go do this, bro. Let's do this. All top. Let's do it. Pops in the house. Hey, hey, hey. Look at this, man. Three 350 Mercury motors. A beast. A beast. So this is a 2018 38cc fountain. Uh, brand new, uh, less than 20 hours on her. Uh, we got it from Naples, Florida. So we drove all the way across country, uh, picked this thing up and then drove it all the way back. Yeah. Uh, this thing is absolutely beautiful. It was designed by Reggie Fountain of Fountain Race Boats. It's a double stepped hull. So from here back is the only thing in the water at speed. So it uses the Venturi effect, it lifts up, and it's like sitting on a cushion of air. Wow. All right, we have lots of safety features on the boat. Um, I have an e located on the starboard quarter. I have a life ring located on the starboard bow. If somebody does fall in the water, um, we'll go ahead and throw them a life ring. If fishing gets better, we're gonna let them hang out for a little bit, take some <laughs> selfies, take some pictures, and then we'll pick you up, all right? <laughs> I've only lost one person, it's not that bad. Uh, Let's go fishing dog-looking things are California sea lions. And the reason they're called California sea lions is because the old sailors back in the day, they would hear them bark and they'd been underway for so long they thought literally it was a lion. <laughs>
where it's at. We out here smacking these rockfish like crazy. As soon as you drop your line up in there, man, you got something like that. I'm telling you. About to be a fish feast tonight. No size on our rockfish. Welcome to Out to Sea. <laughs> I think instead of it gets real, it got kind of crazy out there today. It sure did. I think it, it got sure a little did. bit crazy. Did you guys have fun though? Oh, we had a blast. We did. Yeah. We had a blast. A little chunky. So you little guys chunky. seen us <laughs> earlier on the Aaron Ann 2, which is named after Chris's lovely wife, Aaron Ann. The only reason he named it that was so that he could get that boat. And it got me out of trouble for like a week, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Alright, so how did you guys get into fishing? My grandpa was a charter boat captain uh, on Lake Erie. And so he put me on a boat at about a year and a half years old, and I've never been able to get off the boat since. <laughs> but I love every minute of it, and now that I'm married to the beautiful Aaron Ann, um, We've actually been able to come up with a way to be on the water, have an amazing boat, have an amazing product, and get people involved with fishing. And we've been seeing that quite a bit. And we really feel like, you know, in this day and age, uh, people aren't getting into nature. They're you know, they're taking pictures of it. They're not experiencing it. And it should be an experience, especially yeah. where we are on the Central Coast and uh, all the wildlife that's here and the ocean. You know, we want everything to be a customized experience for everyone who comes here because really we're very blessed to live here and see this every day. So we just wanted to extend that to everybody else who Absolutely. wants to come and enjoy fishing and learn how to do it. Absolutely. We are, uh, we kind of started the business being a dive and fishing center and that was kind of our roots. We wanted that old fire, that Monterey fire that was here back in the day where everybody was coming here to fish, where you could literally walk on whales in some of the books that were written mm -hmm. about Monterey. That's what we wanted to bring to the table. And I think with a little bit more grunt work and I think with a little bit more excitement and everything, I think we're, we are seeing it unfold before our eyes. I mean, the amount of people that we're seeing going fishing and going diving and getting on that boat. Um, I mean, you guys got to experience it today. Mother Nature can be very fierce, but she's got a lot of, lot of beauty out time. there. Oh, yes. oh absolutely. And, You're going to be eating good for a while. And, and the thing that we really wanted to do, what, what we've noticed is that, um, you know, small businesses uh, and, and entrepreneurs, they, they fall through the cracks. 
And so our biggest thing was we wanted to promote community and we wanted to give these smaller business people who don't have the production, you know, capacity to crank out stuff. We wanted to give them a platform. So all of this stuff, everything we carry is as local as we can get because we want to give those entrepreneurs, uh, like I said, a platform. Um, you can't get this stuff anywhere else uh, in one place. And we also wanted to get divers and fishermen and fisherwomen together because everybody said nobody would get along. Fisher, fishermen hated divers and vice versa. Well, we have seen exactly the opposite. Everybody who loves the ocean, they just want to work together to enjoy it. So that's what we're trying to promote. So awesome. it might seem silly, but it works. Not at all. Some of the local stuff too. This is locally made three blocks away from here. Banned in Bulgaria. These are dynamite for walleye, northern pike. Uh, I've got a guy in Wisconsin that just ordered 15 last week. Brown trout are hitting them like crazy. Uh, you have Ling Ling jigs. That's made up in Santa Cruz. Absolutely awesome, awesome jig head. Uh, of course, you have cool baits, cool baits down south. I, I don't even know if I need to give an introduction to cool baits because Justin Cool is just cranking out some amazingness. And then we were able to get his eight ounce this year, custom, just nasty. This landed 155 pound halibut last week up in Alaska. Uh, 12 odd on the back of it. Just hang on. You drop this down. If you're around monster land, the monsters will grab that. Uh, what we did also is some of the stuff. So Chase Bait, as uh, most of you guys know, Chase Bait came out. Um, they've been firing in Australia. They got their shop opened up in Florida. And now they've been cranking out products. But what we do, we like to pre-rig things here because and that was my wife's <laughs> idea, actually. And it all came from Build-A-Bear. Uh, it, actually, it was just an idea. But the, but the thing, Chase Baits is the one thing that we get from the furthest away. But what's so important about them is they are all biodegradable. So being nice. this marine protected sanctuary, it is so important to, you know, really be cognizant of, you know, the environment and and all that kind of thing so like we rig them up for you we rig them up you don't got to do anything except troll that behind your boat and hang on and hope your rod doesn't break when you catch that monster <laughs> nice nice we also have link hot jigs of course and everything is paired up on the top and then you, you haven't even stepped into our pre-rig section here but we've been getting really weird and then don't ever forget about crib jigs too uh, the amazing thing with crib jigs, um, I love to show this off because Georgia crib jigs, you drop this all day long. Oh man, I just dropped it. Still brand new. Nice. We love crib jigs. They're absolutely epic. Take a look right here. We always have fresh dead as well. So I've got squid that was caught yesterday. Wow. Amazing squid. Uh, always have shrimp, mackerel, sardines, uh, half pound, one pound, two pound. We always have, I love, I like to dive, but I really love fishing. And um, we kind of do a combination of everything. So as you walk around the shop and look left and look right and look up, everything has a story. These flags were actually flown um, in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Um, they were actually flown in a time of war. This amberjack was caught. Sir. Yeah, uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. uh, this amberjack was caught on the East Coast by none other than Iceman himself. Um, Iceman's a very good friend of ours. He came here two weeks after arriving into California. He showed up with me to with his commercial license. Um, it is about five hundred dollars for a commercial license, non-resident. He, sh he told me to turn to page 97 in his little book that he had. Sure enough, <laughs> he had his commercial license. So every little thing we have in here kind of has a story. 
That's it's Jeff over there. Yep. Jeff has been a wetsuit maker for the last 30 years. And if you look over there to the right, that's one of his prides and joys, Captain America suit. Handmade that, stitched in every star. This Coast Guard uh, life ring, um, we were gifted that this year. We were very, very lucky to get that because during the government shutdown of last year that went on for 35 days, um, we kept noticing, just like today, that there were a lot of accidents on the water and the Coast Guard kept having to go out. So we kept seeing them and I said, Chris, you know, they're getting paid, right? And he said, no, they're the only... Uh, Military branch. Under... Said, yep, under um, uh, Homeland Security. Yep. Exactly, so they were the only ones who weren't getting paid. And they went for 35 days. And, and my beautiful wife said, oh, hell no. Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> we ain't doing that. So, and you got them 15 truck fulls of food and they're taking care of it for a while now. Oh and, yeah, but, but it was but because it was of the us, community. It was, it was us the and the wives yeah. Yeah. And, and the people didn't know. The people in the community didn't know. And because we have such a huge military presence here with the DLI and, you know, with everything, the postgraduate post school, yes, you know, people didn't know. And as soon as they found out, they came out in droves. And that's what we're trying to do with the community, with like helping local businesses. We're, we're trying to, in this time of separation in this country, we're just really trying to bring that kindness and, and just, gosh, have and getting, and getting people back out to mother nature, getting yeah, them to it, experience yeah. what we experienced today. Yeah. I mean, how many whales did we see today? Oh, did oh, you? Man. Did you see yeah. good ones? Oh, it was about crazy. crazy. 10 to 12. Oh, yeah. yeah. that's wonderful. So Dude. all the salmon boats and all the whale watching boats were all, were all in areas because that's where the bait was at. But so, isn't that great? Nope. That brings it together. That's what I'm saying. I, I, positive begets positive. And that's what, I, I know it sounds silly, but that's what we're trying to do. So, <laughs> that's it. One way or another, we'll get there. <laughs> Thank God we made it to one year, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thank yeah. God. <laughs> so many more. So many more. Oh, yes, thank sir. you so much. Yes, thank sir. you so, thank so you much. Again. Thank you. Instagram, of course, the website, uh, Facebook, we're all over it. Yelp, don't bother with Yelp. Go to Google. <laughs> we talked about that already. But we are here, and uh, we're open seven days a week. Uh, don't tell my wife. 6.30 in the morning to 6 on the weekdays, 5.30 to 6.30 on the weekends. <laughs> Stop by, it gets real, always shows up. And yeah. uh, man, we appreciate you. Appreciate Thank you, you guys. Once Thank again, you. so y'all yeah. don't forget to go follow Out to Sea on Instagram, Out to Sea Monterey on Instagram, and um, Out to Sea on YouTube, and come by. They're located right here off of Cannery Road. So if you do want to just go fish off the pier, you can do that. Or if you do want to have a customized charter, come talk to my man, We're Captain here. Chris. <laughs> Thank y'all for staying tuned for another episode of It Gets Real. Hey man, today has been nothing short of amazing. You got to see it firsthand. A charter on the Aaron Ann 2. Showed you all the great things that uh, Out to Sea has to offer. So if you are in the Monterey area or if you're just visiting the Monterey area, stop on by to Out to Sea. Man, you can go get all the baits you need to go fish off the Coast Guard Pier. And hey, go give them a follow and go subscribe to their channel. But y'all know what to do. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Follow us on It Gets Real Fishing on Instagram and go to itgetsreal.com to purchase some of this fly gear. If not, you can now go to Out to Sea in Monterey and purchase some fly gear there too. But man, until the next one, y'all be cool. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. And congratulations <laughs> for one year. <laughs> one year.
and we haven't killed each other. It's amazing. We've come close.